So let's let's get to some game one bold predictions here. A few facts. Game one winner of the NBA Finals goes on to win the series 71% of the time. But they lose 29%. That's right. That's good math. LeBron James 0-3 all-time in road game ones in the NBA Finals. But LeBron, each of the last nine times LeBron's team has won game one of a series, they've gone on to win. So, of course, game one is pretty important. Let's get to some bold predictions, though. Give me a bold prediction, Taz, for game one. Yeah, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I think the Cavs do get one in the Oracle, whether it's game one or game two, but they're going to go home with the split. The Warriors sometimes get a little ahead of themselves when playing at home. They play a little too loose, Mm -hmm. maybe trying to appease to their crowd a little bit, and they start turning the ball over. As you saw against the Houston Rockets, they turned over 15 and 16 times in game one and two. They tend to make the more difficult pass at times sometimes. They just know that they can win at home, and sometimes they make mistakes. Against the Grizzlies as well, game two, they had 20 turnovers. They lost that game. So I think the Cavs are going to steal one. I think you can chalk one game up to not having that experience. In the finals, they're going to get a little bit loose, a little bit tight at times, and Cavs will go home 1-1. All right, cheating a little bit because yeah, you're, hey, you're not saying they lose game at one. At least but I'm picking a winner. All right, fair <laughs> enough. Lee, what do you got? It's give about me a, winning. Give me a real bold prediction. Control B this. Come on. I think the teams will combine to set a new record for most three-pointers made in a finals game. Currently, it's Tonight? 20, yes, currently it's 25. At the moment, this season, in the playoffs, they're averaging around 22 combined. So about 10 and a half and yeah. about 11 and a half. And, I mean, this is the season of the three-point shot. We know that. We know Clay and Steph themselves, they could easily go for six each. That is 12. They're so going to need Shumper to get a few, JR to get a few, LeBron to get a few. Hasn't been shooting that well, but he just needs to knock in a couple. Earlier you said, what about the layoff, though, having, you know, some effect on both these teams? It could, it could. But then again, maybe they're both fresh and ready to go as well. <laughs> okay. So well, these two, teams, these two teams shoot the most threes in yeah. the playoffs thus yeah. far, so it makes and sense. And 25, that seems low to me. Actually, b- based, based on the way that the game is played this season especially, I-, I think we could get 30 tonight. All right, that's a good prediction. My bold prediction is Clay Thompson is going to have a podium game tonight. Uh, and because we're coming off the whole injury there in the last game of the Western Conference Finals, he gets the knee to the head, you know, you know, later diagnosed as a concussion. He's yeah. throwing up uh, after that game, but he's been, we've had so much time off. He's been cleared to play. He's likely going to play in every game that follows. You can't imagine there's going to be too much hangover from any sort of injury because of that. And I think because he is not going to have to be chasing around a guy like James Harden or putting so much energy defensively into that end of the floor, it's going to be a little easier that he's going to have a podium game. What does that mean? You know, 25 plus points, whole bunch of threes. I think Klay Thompson is going to come out, silence sort of the, not the critics, but the people wondering how he is after the injury yep. and how he was after that sort of poor Western Conference Finals. He didn't shoot the ball particularly well through the first couple of games. He got it going in the last two. I think it continues. So Klay Thompson, podium game. Does he take Riley Curry up there with him? Interesting. I mean, had, had if, he's, if he's up there and Steph's not, we've got to see Riley Curry in the playoffs, don't we? So <laughs> in the finals, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, she is the story of the playoffs thus yeah. far. But I would like to see Clay have a great game because he hasn't been himself this entire postseason. He's been good, but he hasn't been Clay-like yeah. quite. Yeah, I mean, he's been good. He hasn't been great. He hit ten combined threes of the last two games, so he yeah, did yeah, get that, it going. That's when that's he stepped up. Yeah, when when Steph yeah. went out. Uh, he he yeah. did step up. That's definitely when he stepped up. So let's hear from you guys. Let's hear your bold predictions for game one. Let us know on Twitter. Hashtag the starters. I think it's clear I made the boldest prediction. <laughs> hedging. Yeah, one definitely hedging. <laughs>